you do it today. Coach, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll let Coach start off with an opening statement on today's win at Maryland, and then we can take questions from the guys. You know, first, you know, I love Maryland and their team. Uh, Coach Turgeon does a great job, champs. Um, and this has been a really tough place for us to play. It's been a tough place for the whole league to play. So to come on the road, you know, get our first road win um, is a good feeling. And it's the first time, you know, we had to deal with a lot of travel and with COVID. And, and I want to thank the Maryland staff for doing a great job and testing us today. And, um, you know, the great work that they did having that organized. Uh, yeah. It was a tough week this week. All our guys had finals. Huge academic week. I thought they did a good job being locked in. And, and it was a really good team win. Everyone that got in the game helped us. It was one of those typical, you know, big team grinds. You know, these are tough games against really good teams. And um, you got to play really well. You know, we had some real stretches there where we did a really good job defensively. And, and we settled down in the second half and didn't foul as much. It really helped us. It's a great deal. Good win. Thanks, Coach. We can open it up with questions from Jerry Clino and then Bobby Darren. See, what did your team show you, particularly in the second half of that game? Well, I mean, in, in time you can, you know, hold the team that average seventy-eight to sixty. You know, we, we, you know, it's, it's a good sign for our defense. I think our defense has been getting better, but we really sat down in the second half, and once we weren't fouling them, I thought we did a good job. But you know, Gio, tip of the hat. Miles gets a double double. You know, Matt does what he does. Montez guards. Jake, Jacob guards. Paul does all the, you know, that Paul does for us. That makes us, uh, you know, win. Um, so everyone kind of chipped in, and you know, a tough, tough road win. And, and I love the way we grinded. You know, the whole forty minutes. Steve, uh, can you talk about Gio's return? Uh, when did you realize that he was going to be able to to be a full go? And, and just talk about his play tonight and what it meant. I mean, you know, he had practice yesterday. He had a good practice. He said he felt well. Um, he practiced the day before, about 40 minutes. And, um, you know, didn't think he would play that much, but he said he felt really good. And um, obviously he does some things for us, you know, both defensively and offensively. You know, he had been out 18 days, and, and that's a long time. And, you know, again, uh, was able to log, you know, a lot more minutes than, than I had originally intended. But he felt good, and we kept him on the floor. And he's a very confident player, and it was, you know, great to have him back, you know, just to have our full complement of guys. We can go over to Steve Politti with the next question. Hey, hey, Steve, to, to play a game ranked number 19 in the country and, and to, you know, play like the 19th ranked team, I mean, how, how important is it for you guys to match these expectations and to embrace them, you know, in, in this season where uh, obviously people are expecting a lot from you guys? Yeah, you know, Steve, we, we don't, like, get into that stuff. Like, we're trying to beat Maryland. We'd never won a game down here. We're playing the league champs. They had three starters returning in the sixth man of the year. We've never won here in Maryland, so we don't talk about all those other things. We just are focused on, on the job that we had to do today against a really good basketball team and uh, trying to go 1-0. and And we know there's a 20-game gauntlet here. It's called the, the Big Ten Conference. So um, it just gets harder and harder, and we got to go one game at a time. And um, that's what we talk about. We talk about our defense. We talk about sharing the game. We talk about those kind of things. And you know, the rankings really don't do anything for you. I wish they gave you 19 points before the game. So you started off 19-0. That would be a bonus. But it really doesn't, you know, factor into a lot of what I'm talking about and, you know, teaching the team and, and, and a lot of our prep. So, you know, honestly, we don't bring it up too much. Take the next question from Brian Fonseca. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, coming out in the second half, uh, Ron just goes on fire and get you guys going on offense again. How valuable is it to have a guy that he has to go into halftime stalling a bit on the offense who can come out and just go on those streaks of scoring to kind of uh, get you guys going? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's great. I mean, obviously, you know, we had four guys in double figures, you know, today. Uh, Ryan, obviously, you know, was in foul trouble in the first half, he and Paul. So we kind of platooned them both a little bit. But, uh, you know, Ron's a tough matchup. He really is. And he's playing with really good confidence. But, you know, I like his defense. I like that he's getting some assists, too. Um, you know, I like his, his rebounds in traffic, you know, so there's a lot of things he gives us, but you know, tonight he had it going and, um, 
we continued to get him the ball in good spots where he can, you know, make it difficult for guys to defend him. We can go over to Chris Nowalski and then back to Jerry. Hey, Coach, obviously there's no fans, but we know you, uh, you know, winning on the road has been a struggle. Uh, but how important it was to get the win on the road here in the first game? You know, anytime you've, you can beat the league champs, you know, on the road, you know, and, and Coach Tarjan, they do a great job. They play hard. They're really good. Um, so, you know, it's just trying to string together winning streaks, 1-0. One, one and oh. and, and uh, you know, to come down here and and, 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 and have a good good night was, you know, real positive. But I, I love the way we played together. We Even when the obstacles hit us during this game, we kind of stayed the course. You know, our defense really did a good job of, you know, holding them and, and, and making them take some tough shots. I thought we let Dante Scott open a few times, but then we kind of settled in, too, um, with our defense with him. So if we continue to play defense the way we did and we share the ball, you know, uh, you know, it's good. Good things happen. And whether they're home or on the road, you know, you're trying to win as many games you can in this, this monster of a league. Go back to Jerry Carino. Steve, I want to ask you what you think of this Twin Towers uh, lineup that helped you in the first half. And also, how about the way Miles Johnson has embraced this role you've given him? Yeah, well, it's nice when you have Miles and Geo Baker coming off your bench. You know, um, it's, it, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good bench. But, uh, you know, Miles has been great. Cliff, really, I thought he got us off to a good start, too. He made some big plays for us. Um, he's going to continue to get better and better. And I thought his defense was much improved too in this game. So, um, you know, pleased with the development of all those guys. Miles does a lot of things. Obviously, I think it was his career high today in rebounds. Um, but he blocks shots. He alters shots. He's a really good passer. You know, he brings a lot. And his maturity, you know, really helps us. And I think you saw that today with, with he and Gio being on the floor. They've logged a lot of minutes and, and um, they're very mature guys. Just want to ask you about that tw Twin Towers, the pairing of the two big guys in there together. What do you think of that? And what, what, what lets you know that it's time for that? Yeah, I really like it. And they went with small lineups, so today wasn't the ideal, you know, the ideal thing, especially when they went really small and they played Dante Scott at the five spot. But, um, you know, as, as Cliff and Miles keep getting better defensively, guarding those guys, we can go to it at any time. And, and I like it, and we continue to work on it as long as they – you know, stay out of foul trouble. You know, it's a lineup that we can go to at times in the game and uh, become real physical and really inside. Um, so I like it. I like the versatility. We can move guys around and especially bring in two 6'11 guys out there that both have unique skill sets. Over to Bobby Darren. Steve, on Friday you talked about all the stuff you had to go through to prepare to play on the road, even though it was a short trip to Maryland. Now that it's done, what was it like going through all those extra preparations? Yeah, I mean, it's nerve-wracking, quite honestly. You know, it's uh, you go into hotels and nobody's there and, um, you know, uh, it's just, you, you know, very different. Um, waiting today to get all our testing done before our shoot-around. We had to get there earlier, so that's different. Our bus driver... Is great, but we had a bus driver previous that, that tested positive for it, so we had to get a new bus driver. So there's actually a, a, a lot of different obstacles that go into play now, you know, with COVID, but I'm very thankful. You know, my team has done a really, really good job, and my staff, um, you know, and, and uh, there's just a lot of steps, and there's a lot of planning with meals, with roommates, with the rooms, with how we're going to shoot around with how we're getting on the bus. So it's just plans over things you kind of took for granted in the past. Now you got to really have meetings over. Um, so we'll figure it out. We'll make some adjustments too. And uh, uh, we'll have a safe trip back and, and, and we'll make some changes on the next trip. I've got three more questions and we'll go to Richie and then Lydia and Aaron. Hey, Coach, it kind of looked like you guys were running like a seven-man rotation today minus a couple minutes for Duke. Um, you kind of did the same thing against Syracuse. Is that the plan going forward, or do you hope to incorporate a couple more guys? No, I mean, I, I trust all my guys. So, you know, they'll all play, and uh, if I feel like the matchups are good and if I feel like they're ready, you know, we're getting into a huge slate here of, of, of really difficult games, and, you know, experience helps you in these kind of things, so. Um, I continue to play a lot of guys. I will, and um, they got to be ready. Hey, Steve, my, my, 
my question kind of uh, feeds into that. Well, stick to the next eight games against ranked teams, uh, some of the best teams in the country on this schedule. I mean, how, how do you manage that uh, with the holiday break? Well, yeah, I mean, you got to factor that in too. But you know, we just one one game at a time, Steve. I know it's coach talk, but this is how I've always been. You know, um, we'll start worrying about the next one, which is Illinois, and how good they are. Everybody knows. Um, we'll enjoy today. We'll start, you know, breaking that down. We do have the holidays, so I, you know, hope our guys can, you know, have a little break or see their families and what have you. But it's a different year, you know, for that too. And you know, when you play in a league like this, it's just different styles, different challenges. But all the teams are really good. All the coaches are really, you know, really good, and, and the players too. So um, you don't get many breaks, and and you got to keep grinding and. Um, you know, that's what we kind of do. Um, but, but I'm, you know, pleased. I'm pleased with our team. I think we're getting better. I think we use this week, even in the middle of finals. We had all kinds of schedules with finals. You guys can't imagine what they had to do with papers and all the different stuff. So we had to bob and weave around that. And, uh, you know, for them to come in here focused and, and, you know, our staff did a good job with the game plan you know, from Maryland. And now we got to do the same thing. We got to head back and we got to get, you know, our guys some treatment. Tomorrow's a good day off. And then we start, you know, on, on the next obstacle, which is a, an excellent Illinois team. We'll give Aaron Breitman the last question and then we'll let Coach go. Coach, just wanted to ask uh, about Ron Harper's uh, development um, from, from three-point range. He's shooting about 50% this season. Just to, how his evolution of his game and how important his success from three is for this team's overall success. You know, honestly, I think a lot of our guys' development has helped us a ton. I think everyone's, you know, Montez is better, Jacob Young's better, Paul's better. You know, all these guys are better, but Ron... Um, you know, every year now he's gotten better. So his freshman year, he could do some things. And sophomore year, he got better at shooting the ball, got better at putting it down. And now he's gotten better at being consistent. You know, he's practicing, you know, having good practice. He's been consistent with his, you know, extra workouts. Um, you know, he's gotten older. Um, you know, the experience has really helped him. So he keeps improving, and that's a good thing. I want all of our guys to continue to improve. I think we do a good job of developing players and, you know, he's he's a perfect example of that. And the other part that he does is, you know, I, I said this after the game, I was really excited. I think he had four assists, too, you know, tonight. So he was sharing the game, and, you know, that's that's a really good sign for us, you know, moving forward. But I think all of our guys have, that have returned have gotten better, and, um, you know, that's a real positive. They need to continue doing that, and our young guys got to keep getting better. It's a sign of a, a good program that develops guys. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you taking some time. We'll Coach Coach, yeah, I want to make a shout out too to Coach Chiano. What a great win he had, you know, coming down here. And the great job that they did. It was one of the great days we had. We watched the football game together. It was the first time, you know, kind of normalcy, you know, for our guys. Had a nice meal and, and then got a chance to watch and the great job that he's doing too. So real, real proud of the football team and and the great job and the energy that they're generating. So I appreciate you guys listening today. All right, you guys have a great night.